All right, Florida has long been a hub for water sports, especially water skiing, going back to the Cypress Gardens days, my youth. Uh, several of the top skiers in the world live and train in central Florida. Yeah, Freddie Winter is among those professional water skiers. He's reached the top levels in the sport and still has much more in his sights. I went out to the boarding school just outside of Orlando to chat with the top slalom skier in the world. I mean, a point of reference is there's less than a handful of people in the world that have ever been able to do what he's done. I pull pretty hard, and I, and I do have big turns once in a while, but I mean, the aim is to try and be as smooth as possible. Freddie Winter grew up in Great Britain in a skiing family. He came to the States in 2014 to attend the University of Louisiana Monroe and compete on their top tier ski team. From there, his career took off, climbing the rankings and winning the most prestigious tournaments. Fast forward to now, where he capped off a career year in 2019 with double digit podium finishes as the top ranked skier in the world. Freddie Winter, unofficially, your champion in 2019. It's a flow of a lot of different things. I mean, I would say that between uh, improved technique, uh, better equipment, um, a better off season, um, you know, a few different things. I was working on a lot of different stuff. Um, to kind of get that all lined up. Now let's try and put this in perspective. Winter is flying down a set of buoys at 36 miles per hour with six turns to make, shortening the rope on each run. It is incredibly precise. If you shorten the rope to what he's doing, it just seems insane. You, it looks impossible, you know? And I mean, it, and it truly is. I mean, at the last line length they're at, the rope is five and a half feet shorter than the distance to the buoy. So, you know, you think about that. I mean, he's 6'3 and stretched out, whatever, but, you know, to be at the right place at the right time and make all that happen is, you know, it's, it's pretty amazing. After battling back from a broken ankle, Winter went on to win two of the top three tournaments in the sport, including a world championship in 2017 and the Masters just last season. That was one of the best moments of my life. I mean, that was huge for me. He was set to defend his Masters title this weekend, but like all of his other competitions this spring, it was postponed because of the coronavirus. And now, the normally hectic months have become a lot more quiet. It's a bit frustrating to be like, well, you know, I was excited to have this really busy year and I was going to go all these different places, but it's just hurry up and wait. And during the waiting, winter is just treating this break as a second off season. With the world coming to a halt, he's been able to use this time to hone his craft at the boarding school in hopes of achieving even more success down the line. I want to win another World Championships, maybe I want to win two or three more. I mean, um, if you, there's not many of one, two. There's a bunch of people who won one. I was really close last year to, to getting that second one, which I'd have just been so happy about, but unfortunately it didn't, didn't go my way. Another few Masters would be great. I want to win Moomba. Um, and yeah, like, let's, let's, uh, let's go for a world record. And the world record is, is two and a half at 43 off. So without getting too much in depth with this, that's the number of buoys passed and then the length off the rope. So 43 off long line. So 43 off 75. It's like feet. another day on the lake for you. It was so great. I loved going out she there. She swallows, it was such a by fun the way. Story. She's, she's modest. She's modest. She's, she's a world champ, too. <laughs> All right, Thanks, still to Dan. come, our super